G'day everybody, welcome back to Drone Victoria. Just out on the road again today, heading back to Cadinia Reservoir yet again because it's one of my favourite places to showcase what the DJI Mavic Pro can do. And today what I want to do is I want to shoot a little video for you showing you the difference between the three modes of active track on the DJI Mavic. Okay, so the first mode we're going to have a look at is trace mode. To activate active track, just tap on the intelligent flight mode button. And there you'll see the active track logo, tap on that. Then what you need to do is, using your finger on the screen, you need to draw a rectangle around the subject. And you'll see here we're just a little bit too far away be able to pick up that uh, white Jeep so we move a little closer and then comfortably pick it up now trace mode just hit the OK button there and you're good to go don't forget to hit record and what trace mode does is essentially it will follow a, a subject so you'll see that it lets the car drive past and then drops in behind and does its best to maintain an even distance now perhaps the car was travelling a little bit quick here and the drone was working into the wind, is falling behind just a little bit. But essentially, you can see what trace mode is doing and that is to follow the vehicle. Now there's another portion of trace mode which is of use and that, that is the orbit. Same process, tap on active track. Draw a rectangle around your subject. And you're good to go. Tap on trace and hit OK. Once you start moving, as per the last shot, you'll see that the drone will follow at the same distance. Now you can see at the bottom of the screen here, there's an arrow and a circle that you can move to either side. If you move that to either side, depending on the distance that you move that slider, the drone will start to orbit around the target. This can produce, as you can see, some quite stunning and quite effective shots. You can also, if you choose to, edit uh, your altitude up and down or your distance away. Here's another example of active track trace using the orbit function. You can see it's really quite effective and some of the shots that you can uh, conjure up are, are stunning. Now profile mode. Okay, tap once again on the active track button. Draw a rectangle around your subject which is going to be the white jeep again. Hit profile mode and hit OK. You can hit do not show again anytime you want if you don't want to see that message. So once again, you're good to go. What profile mode will do is it will endeavor to move alongside the subject, keeping the same distance, moving sideways with the distance in shot. You'll see once the vehicle heads off, the drone is attempting to keep alongside the car. Just be aware here that you don't have sensors on the side of your drone. So you would want to make sure that if you're keeping a certain distance and height, that there's nothing, there's no objects in your path. And you can see that the drone does a really good job of just keeping the same distance and the profile of the subject. It's quite an effective mode. And the final mode is spotlight mode. This is one of my favourites. Tap on the intelligent flight mode button, hit active track. Trace a rectangle around your subject and hit spotlight. Hit OK. And what spotlight mode will do is keep the drone dead still but keep the subject within its sight. Essentially as a spotlight would on a stage. So you'll see here that the drone isn't moving, the subject is, as we cut away to the uh, finished product. The drone is completely stationary, yet the, stu the subject continues to move. You can create some wonderful shots with this mode. 
and the software does a fantastic job of following the subject. Here's another example. I positioned the drone on the opposite side of the street, jumped in the car with the controller, set up spotlight mode, and off I went. The drone did the rest. You can see how smooth the shot is. So that's a summary of all of the uh, available modes in for the Mavic and Active Track. You'll see that um, using a combination of those three modes can be really, really effective. Thanks for watching today. Hope you took something out of the video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. We'd love to have you as, as a subscriber. But in the meantime, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.